hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Stella so in today's video we're going to learn how to draft a flounce in the easiest way possible so let's look at the materials that we're going to be working with now we'll be making use of the pattern paper our tape pencil compass and our marker pen of course so let's jump right into it now the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead and measure your pattern paper so you need to get the length and the width of the pattern paper so that we can get the center all right so i will go ahead and measure the width of the pattern paper and what i have here is 36 inches now half of it is 18 and i'll make a mark at 18 inches now i'll repeat the same measurement somewhere here so that i can get a straight line now i'll come in with my ruler and i will connect it all the way down so we have gotten our width now let's get the length of the paper i will go ahead and measure the line that we have drawn now it's what I have there is 24.5 inches and half of it is 12.25 inches. I'll proceed to make a mark there. I will repeat it somewhere here just so that I can get a straight line. Now I'll proceed to connect it also using a straight line. So here we have it. I have gotten the center or the midpoint of the pattern paper now let's jump right into the actual flounce drafting so from the center i will go away by two inches and i'll make a mark there all right also note that the actual width of the flounce that i want including my allowance is four inches so from the center point i'll place my tape away from it and i'll mark two inches now i'll come in with my compass and we're going to connect from that two inches back to the other side forming a half circle so for this particular video you will um benefit more if you watch and also listen okay so i'll place my compass on the two inches that i went away with all right and i will form a semicircle so i, I have my compass placed one leg on the two inches that i went away with the second leg on the center of our pattern paper and i'll go ahead and connect it to the other side now the moment you set your compass that way just go ahead and form a semicircle okay so this is it and i'll go ahead and highlight it using broken lines so that we can see it better and here we have it so this is the very first step now i'll go ahead and start marking my actual flounce width my actual flounce width is four inches all right now i will place my tape on the two inches that I went away with and I will go ahead and mark my four inches so at this stage you can actually mark your actual flounce width if yours is two inches three or five you go ahead and mark it at this point so this is it I have made a dot there now I will come in with my compass as well so that we can connect to that four inches mark but before then let's have a quick recap of what I have done so we started by getting the center of the pattern paper and i went away from that center by two inches okay now i i came in with my compass and i connected it so i had one leg on the two inches and the second leg on the center of the pattern paper and i connected using a semicircle all right after that i marked four inches away from that two inches mark that we have there now we're going to come in with our compass and one leg will be on our two inches that we went away with and the second leg will be on this other end of the semicircle this way now i will go ahead and connect it to our four inches flounce width so this is it and i know it looks very faint so i'll come in with my marker pen and i will use a broken line as well to connect this and here we have it now this is a very basic of flounce drafting okay the moment you have gotten this the rest of it is super easy now i'll proceed to mark my four inches flounce width all round so i will come in with my tape and i'll place it from that inner circle there and i will use broken lines to connect my four inches so i will continue make uh, measuring the four inches all round till i exhaust the pattern paper so i'll go ahead and do this and we'll continue 
Yeah. So this is how far I have gone. Now I'll continue marking this round until I exhaust the pattern paper. Also note that the wideness depends on the style that you're working with and the length. Okay, so I'll go ahead and mark my four inches until I exhaust the pattern paper. Mm. This is it. And I'm okay with what I have now because I've almost exhausted the pattern paper. So I come in with my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line there indicating the end of the flounce. And here we have it. Now let's move over to the center of the pattern paper. So I'll also use a semicircle there to connect the center so that we can have a full circle at the center of the pattern paper. And I'll proceed to shade it. So what this simply means is that we're going to be cutting off this shaded part. It's not part of your flounce that you're going to be working with. So this is it. We are done with the drafting. Now let's measure the length of the flounce. So to measure, you're going to measure the inner lines and not the outer part. So I'll come in on my tape and I'm going to run my tape round the inner circle. All right, so this is how to measure your flounce. You don't measure the outer lines, you measure the inside. All right, now the actual length that I want is 23 inches. Okay, but let's measure everything that we have. Now, the total length of the flounce is 41 inches. So, this is how to measure. You measure the inside and not the outside. And this is it. I'll go ahead and cut this off. Now, to cut off, I will begin by cutting off the excess paper that I have around our flounce. So, this is it. I'll go ahead and cut off all the excess paper around the flounce so that we can begin the actual cutting of the flounce and here we have it now i will begin the cutting of the flounce so i'll start cutting from here but before i complete my cutting it's advisable that you get your fabric that you're working with fold it into four then you place your flounce pattern on top of it now at this stage it's expected that you have added your sewing allowance to the flounce because you don't have any other room to add any other allowance, okay? So I'll go ahead, get my fabric, fold it into four, pin it down, and we'll have the, the flounce pattern on it. So this is it. I have my fabric here, and you can see I have pinned it properly because I'm working with a duchess and it's a bit light. So I will go ahead and pin down our pattern, our flounce pattern on it firmly so that it doesn't shift and we will proceed with our cotton. So here we have it. I have pinned it down. You can see I pinned generously. So I will go ahead now and cut. Now, just like we did on the pattern paper, I will also go ahead and cut off the excess fabric around our flounce first before we begin the actual cutting of the flounce. So I'm simply repeating the same thing I did on the pattern paper. Yeah. So this is it. I've cut off the excess fabric around the, the flounce. Now we will continue with our actual flounce cutting. So I'm simply cutting along our marked line. It's that simple. And I'm not going to fast forward this area at all so that we will see the lines that I'm cutting on. <music>
and here we have it so we are done with our cutting now you agree with me that this this is actually a very easy and straightforward style okay so i'll go ahead and try to arrange it so that we will see what it looks like and this is it so you can see that we still have it all together now i will proceed to take off my pins all right so this is it i have taken off the pins now i'll go ahead and join this to my fabric and i'll show us the finished look so i'll take off my pins then join it to my to my dress and here we have it we are done thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye